Hey, I was impressed the way you um, uh, set about taking the pictures. Unfortunately, I, I just the end result wasn't there, you know. Our problem was that, you know, trying to be too relaxed about things. You need to have a bit more of an edge to you, I'm afraid. Yeah. O organic farming is, is, a, is a great option for you, I think, you know. Um, so, I mean, unfortunately, with a combination of, for those reasons, um, it's, it's a no, I'm afraid. I felt you did okay on the, on, the, on the picture today, right? Um, general sense, you felt you had a, a very good sense of humour, a good character, came across quite well. Just got a feeling you're a bit of a chance there, right? But uh, on another level, we feel you have a kind of a streetwise edge to you, so we'd like to ask you back next week. Cool. Okay. All right. Thanks, Well done. Yep. Thank you. First of all, you did your homework very well. Mm -hmm. That's good to, to see. You actually seem to understand what we're doing here. Yeah. There's a, a good picture here that you took at the table tennis. Um, we're very pleased with that one, actually. There's just that big question mark about you, though. We just feel that there is this big element of, you know, if the first bad event, you could just hightail it back to Donegal mm. um, and pick uh, whatever's next on the list. We felt your sports knowledge wasn't as good as what we had hoped. Yeah. You know, I, I, it didn't come across that this was the absolute area of photography that you had kind of made, made your mind up on. Unfortunately, we're not inviting you back for next week. Your photographs and so on, um, they do show promise. Overall, the good actually outweighs the bad, so we actually want you to come back next week. Excellent. All right, so... Please accept it. Well done. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, all the best. All right. It's been a long day. But James, Alan and Paul are through to the next round. In just a few days, they'll start two weeks work experience at Info Photography and battle it out for a six month contract. It's Monday morning and day one of the two week work placement. Of the three candidates, only two will make it through to the second week, so they must impress from the start. First to arrive is 24-year-old James Crombie. James lives in Rathmines with his girlfriend Anne and is hoping his passion for sport will give him the edge over the competition. Since I've been young, I've always had a, a massive interest in sport. And my uncle's always brought me to every West Mead game. I loved watching sport on TV. It's extremely important to James. I mean, it's just something that he's always, always wanted to do. It's up there with being a Formula One driver, I think, was one of the many careers he wanted to pursue. After I left college, um, I spent just over a year working in a bar. Uh, I spent two years doing IT in London. Then I found out enough experience to come back to Ireland, and I've been nearly a year and a half in Ireland working in IT now since then. I regard myself as being a quite ambitious person. I, I never want to settle for second best. I'm always willing to try to do better. Next up is Paul McGuckin. He's 33 and is a surfing and golfing nut. Well, and I live in Donegal with my wife, and we've been married 12 years. The thing about both of us is we're both actually crazy idea people. We both work at home, and we live five minutes from a beach. We have a lovely dog. Recently, what I've been looking for is the thing which is going to form the basis of the rest of my life. Um, so up until this point, I have tended to chop and change a bit. Research, photography a bit more, classes, and then that's when the, the spark was lit, really, and that's, uh, that's what brought me to where I am today. Either come negative or... The last candidate due at the office is Alan McElroy, but at 10 past 10, there's no sign of him. Well, it's not a great start, is it? Not a great start, all right. I missed a little spell, I timed it wrong. I timed it wrong. Bad mistake. <laughs> Alan is 25 and studies media at Ballyfermot College. He's also a stand-up comic in his spare time. I'm Alan McElroy and I'm, don't worry, I'm gonna be short and sweet. Just like me, Mickey dipped in sugar. <laughs> In my family there's uh, a brother and a sister, they're younger than me, and a mother and a father and a dog. My sister, she's in college, she's the normal one. Oh, my parents are always hard working, my dad drives a taxi and my mum works in a shop. My philosophy in life is not to take it too serious, uh, you know, enjoy yourself. 
you big riot. I do want to do my best and prove them wrong that I'm not a chancer. I'm 25, so now is the time to sort out my career. Thank you, I'm done. Back in the office, it's time for Billy to brief the candidates on the plans for the week. But before he starts, he has a few stern words for Alan. Not a very good start, Alan. 15 minutes late. Are you taking, are you taking this seriously? Or? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's, it's no use if, uh, if people can't keep time. That's very important to us, all right? The boys will be given a chance to do a feature photo shoot with a major sporting celebrity at the end of the week. They will each be competing to have a photo published in the Sunday Tribune. You have to remember the Sunday Tribune, very, very important client of ours. We're looking for creativity, a photograph that stands up and will be published in the paper. Billy takes the boys next door to the Sunday Tribune offices to meet sports editor PJ Cunningham, who explains their brief. We're going to send you on the trail of one Bernard Dunn, who's a Dubliner, and we want your picture to reflect what's going on in Bernard Dunn's mind. Get him in the ring, go low and look up at him, go high and look down at him, or maybe bring him somewhere from left field. The week's main task, feature photography, tests their creative confidence and people skills before they're thrown into the world of action photography in week two. Once they've picked up the tools of the trade, Billy sends them on a feature shoot dummy run. I advise you to go to something like a sports ground, a sports centre, somewhere where there's, there's people. Getting a memorable feature shot means building up a good rapport with your subject to get the photos you want. I was wondering if we could take a couple of pictures of you down with the cable crossover. All right, do you want to go over there? Can you do it? What's the, what's the maddest thing you can do with it? That is that killing you? Do you want to no, try no, and no. put light ones on or something? Or? That's it, I'm done. If you did it, if you if you did it, so you were here and here was here. I think you're wasting your time with that one, actually. To be honest, I think the first two are you know fine. I think that one just doesn't really do much. It doesn't look like a feature picture. Doesn't look like an action shot. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't even have chosen it. You know. I think uh, um, you're kind of hesitant, right? Um, you're not, um, you haven't got a huge amount of confidence in what you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. You need to up that confidence. I'm quite pleased with this one because um, you've actually used slow shutter speed and you've actually tried to, to do a little bit uh, something different, which is good. I was also kind of impressed that uh, you took it upon yourself to go straight into Photoshop and to do it yourself. You didn't seem to be very decisive about what you want it done, right? You're the best in terms of the rapport with the people, right? Your photographs are actually closer in, you're actually obviously communicating with the person. That's vital when you're doing features, right? Now, the main reason that you're here is because we think you're very streetwise, right? And you're smart, and that you would have ability to adapt, right? Now, you're doing okay, um, but I think you're a bit distracted. With mixed reviews from Billy on their first feature photos, the candidates reflect on their first day's work. I think he's wrong about me not being focused. I'm very focused, like, I, I put in a lot of effort in, in the photographs. I knew where I wanted to take and I took them. Uh, I'm quite pleased, actually, yeah. Um, the thing is, if I, if I build it up and think, oh, yeah, you know, I think I'm doing really well, I'm going to get through, then it's, you could bite me in the arse, you know, so I've got to be careful of it, you know. I don't think I lack in confidence, but I suppose it's, it's it's kind of the way I probably come across sometimes. I need to be a bit more assertive and a bit more decisive in what I'm doing. I think from a standing start, to be told to go out, organise something, come back with a picture at all, was an achievement. Paul, uh, he's, he's actually, the concept of, of the feature picture, I think he's got a better idea than the others. By the end of the first day, Paul has taken an early lead photographically, with Alan's people skills also standing him in good stead. In preparation for their feature shoot with Bernard Dunn, Billy sends the guys out to recce the location, Bernard's boxing club, St. Matthew's in Ballyfermot. Bernard's dad, Brendan, shows them around and provides inspiration. Hey, Alan, how's, how's Alan? How's everything? Grand, how's everything? First up is Alan. Get the back here this way. 
Blood ass man, sweat. Oh, I fucking hate it. Have you got one of them uh, doingy 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 things? I have a couple of photos in here in mind. Uh, just resting, relaxing on uh, a couple of the benches, and I'll show which one. Next up is Paul. Help yourself. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen, I have a few ideas. Maybe if you just could just stand there. Just stand or... there like that. If I could climb up on there, I mean. Paul plays it safe and sticks with PJ's suggestion, focusing his attention on getting a photo of Bernard in the ring, using his dad as a stand-in. And James decides to go it alone, but struggles to find inspiration. I want to get his stare, but I want the, the punching bag kind of in the foreground. I've also taken a walk around outside and I've seen one or two things that I liked. But then again, it, it's, it's, it's going to be it's, it's a time constraint we're under. The candidates leave with their ideas firmly visualised, but Paul is about to be hit with a photographer's worst nightmare, technical problems. It was like 200 pictures and they're just gone. I don't know, can I go back in? <laughs> I'm screwed then, aren't I? Back in the office, Paul turns to Billy in the hope that he can solve the mystery of his missing photos. They might still be there. They might just hang on. I'm just. Um, <laughs> there you are, you see, there they are. And they're there? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. I mean, basically, uh, there's, there's, uh, it's created another, right. another folder. When it goes to 9999, nine, 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 then it goes on and starts opening your oh, folder. Oh, blame <laughs> All right. So panic over. With their features shoot with Bernard only a day away, Billy gives them a few more tips. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you some feature shots to give you some pointers. Uh, the association here between Brian O'Driscoll and fantastic rugby player can walk on water. There's a combination of really good preparation and then the spontaneity, right? So when I set out to take that picture, it wasn't actually, that isn't actually what I thought was going to happen. I was thought he was just going to be standing there. But then when he started um, mucking around, then it turned into a picture. So you've got to allow for that sort of thing to happen. Ken Doherty, right, the snooker player. He's not getting him to just sort of stare at, stare at the camera. He's getting him slightly distracted. Something kind of edgy about the picture, right? There's a definite communication between the photographer uh, on the subject. This was uh, a photograph by Morgan Tracy, but it's actually won a worldwide award as a rugby photograph. You look, you've got to look for something different, and that is, is an outstanding feature picture. 